We'll come back to you, Mike. Thank you. The family of an Oklahoma man searching for answers tonight. Albert Jerick died days after he was released from the Oklahoma County Jail, spending that entire time on life support. News 4's Ashley Moss has been putting together a timeline of events. Ashley. And it's a bit of a mystery, at least for his family and friends. Albert Jerick's girlfriend said the last time she saw him, he was fine on his way to get them some food. Instead, he was picked up on an outstanding warrant held at the Oklahoma County Jail. Six days later, she says she got a call saying he was in a hospital ICU on life support. I didn't hear, I haven't heard his voice since, since that day, since the third. This report shows Albert Jerick spent six days, nine hours, 40 minutes behind bars before he was granted a medical release at a hospital on June 9th. DOC guidelines show an inmate's emergency contact should be notified as soon as possible after serious illness or injury. Albert's contact was his girlfriend. She says she didn't know anything was wrong until she got a call from hospital staff saying Albert was in their ICU. They're assuming he went to cardiac arrest and the only information that they gave me was that the COs found him unresponsive. But by the time we got there, he was seizing so bad that they had to put him under sedation and that's where he was until he died. In an email, Oklahoma County Jail Administrator Brandi Garner said she couldn't provide specific information about Albert's medical condition, adding, quote, the population we manage often come to us with chronic untreated health, mental health, and substance abuse issues. We seek medical own recognizance bonds from the courts to provide access to the highest level of care available. Albert spent 17 days on a ventilator before he died. But what happened before that? His family says the jail won't return their calls. We tried to contact um, one lady from the jail. She told us we'd have to speak to somebody higher up and that he would be giving us a call, but they've never contacted us. We just want answers. We want to know what happened. Now, records show detainees are supposed to undergo medical evaluations when they're booked into the jail. It's still not clear what, if any, serious conditions Albert may have had during those six days he spent in the jail. Thank you, Ashley. Also, 